Hello friends, in this video we shall see the options window of your NetBeans IDE which will be able, using which you will be able to configure your IDE. The options window will enable you to change the settings which are configurable by you, settings related to these particular options. The option window is actually a multi-tabbed window. Okay. And it is a pop-up kind of window. It, is, it will not permanently reside in any of the sections of the IDE. When you click the options, a window will pop up, which will be a pop-up, uh, which will be a multi-tabbed window. And each tab for these particular settings will appear. General, where you can specify the proxy settings. Editor, you can specify the or configure the settings which are related to the editor. For example, the formatting for different languages that are supported by your IDE. Then the way in which the folding is done, folding of the code for particular language and the other settings will be, uh, you know, demonstrated to you when we actually do that in the editor section. Then there is a tab for fonts and colors. You can specify the type of font and the color that you want to use to display a particular section or particular type of code in the, in the source code of your application. You can choose the font and color. Maybe the font for the keyword, for font for the constant, the color for a particular object, etc. That you can choose or you can configure the settings using the fonts and color tab. Then there are different tabs for Java, C, C++, PHP, etc. If you choose Java, then what are the, what is the JDK or the source of the JDK, where the JDK is installed, all those settings have, are given in the Java uh, tab. If you choose the C and C++ tab, then what are the compilers, where are the compilers for C, for C++, for Fortran, for the assembler, etc. That you have to specify in the C or C++. If you choose the PHP, then where is the PHP interpreter, the location of the PHP interpreter or the home of the PHP interpreter, so to say, that you can you have to specify. Then where is the output to be displayed, where, whether the output is to be displayed on a web browser, what is the default web browser that you want to use, what are the different frameworks that you want to use and where are the frameworks, what are the settings of the framework, Zend framework for example, you have to give the IDE the location of the Zend, Zend browser, uh, that all that setting or all those settings can be modified or set using the options window. Some of the settings are not enabled by default when you first install the IDE. So for example, PHP, when the default installation takes place, the PHP may not be activated. And if you go on this PHP, first button that you will C is to activate this PHP option. So after you enable that or activate that, then the different settings like the PHP interpreter home and the uh, homes for the different frameworks, etc., will appear afterwards. Right. So all these options are not activated by default. So you may have to enable first them and then go on to change the settings. Editor, fonts, and colors, etc., they will be available to you by default. But the other languages like HTML, PHP, C, C++ may not be activated. You, may, you will have to activate first and then change the settings. So what I will do you uh, in front of you is to open this option window, see what are the different options that can be configured in the general category, in the editor, fonts and etc. I will also show you how to enable PHP, how to enable C, C++, etc. Change the settings so that later on when we are going to build a PHP application, then the home that you have specified here will be used to interpret your PHP code. So that everything that I will show you with the help of a practical demonstration right in front of you. To display the options window, go in the tools menu and choose options. So as I said, the options window is a multi-tabbed window in which these different categories are available. 
first is the general category in which you can deci decide or define the web browser especially useful when you are creating a web based application either in java or php which is the default web browser that you want to use default system browser is chosen by default you can set another browser as your browser for choice you can also set the proxy settings if you are using a system proxy then choose the uh, rather if you are choosing a manual proxy settings choose this and give the port number and all the de details you can also choose to send the usage statistics to NetBeans whenever uh, the online connectivity is available this is the first tab under the editor category you can mention whether the brace matching is to be done camel case behavior how do you want whether do you want enable camel case navigation or not either depending on your choice you can enable or disable search behavior you can decide enter to find the text or enter to finish the search the behavior can be controlled by here folding the code folding that means when you on the left hand side of your editor there will be a plus symbol if you click on that the code will be expanded and if you again click on the minus sign that will be compressed that is called as folding so language specific coding behavior can be decided use the default settings or if you want a particular setting to be enabled you can choose that okay formatting the formatting of the code how do you want the code to to appear whether you want the braces to be in the same line for example these these braces are in the same line method declaration braces for the blocks of codes for if for while and do while these are the keywords for which the braces are generated do you want them to be generated automatically or you want that to be done manually that you can decide on the formatting settings similarly code completion do you want any help from the IDE itself for code completion you can spe specify the language specific settings or settings for all languages auto pop-up complete completion window do you want to appear auto pop-up for documentation etc all these settings can be uh, you know chosen by you likewise the code templates hints etc these options can be provided fonts and colors this is also a very important uh, option configuration that you can do similarly all languages are language specific Say for example if you choose all languages the font that is chosen by default is mono space 13 if you want to change that like for example it is showing the preview here if I choose another font and another size see it has had an effect you can also change the colors so likewise for each of the uh, code uh, category or type of the uh, you know code for method what do you want to use for number for operators for each and every element in in the code you can specify the font and color okay then java specific settings are the ant home you can define gui builder when the gui builder form is appearing on your screen what are the different color combinations guiding guide guiding line color what which color do you want selection border color which color do you want do you want an automatic interna internationalization listener generation style listener generation can be done in two or three different ways anonymous inner classes for each listener do you want to create or one inner class or main class 
variables modifier also public protected private that you can specify generate components on and generate components as local variables or fields in the form class so these are the different settings you can provide uh, in the gui builder for html and js category do you want a bower support enabled you have to give the bower path of course this machine doesn't have this installed so therefore it is prompting you to install one css preprocessor settings can also be given here for node.js also you can specify the parameters doesn't have a node.js installed so it is prompting me to install one PHP options are maybe in your case NetBeans is not activated so if this will not be visible there it will first ask you to activate that after you activate give you the PHP interpreter folder so in my case it is installed in this in this particular folder php.exe is resident in this particular folder if if not or for the first time you will have to provide it by browsing to the particular location you can also specify the global include path for c and c++ the destinations of the compilers have to be mentioned here so these are all the different uh, option categories for python also if the python plugin is installed in your machine it will show you another uh, you know category called python in which you can choose to che check this box prompt for python program arguments okay so these are all the different option settings con which can which you can configure and that will have an effect on the behavior of your netbeans ide